I recorded this video on March 21st, 2023 at the ALEA Public Safety Driver's License Office in Birmingham, Alabama. Most people go down here to get a license to drive in the Birmingham, Alabama area. I came down here to do something a little bit different. I was a holder of a state of Alabama driver's license and I went to this office on this day to cut my driver's license in half and I threw it in the garbage can in front of this building. I did this in protest to my experience dealing with the state of Alabama Medical Examiners and Licensure Commission Office. You can see everything about uh, what happened to me regarding uh, my medical situation. It's at YouTube channel My Medical Nightmare and it's in a lot of other places around the internet. I had an injury in 2018 where I broke the underside of my skull. I may have had a brain stroke around the same time. I went to the emergency department at Ascension St. Vincent's East Hospital in Birmingham, Alabama. I'll play this synopsized version of, of many of my experiences. This is a message that I left to be addressed to Ascension CEO Joseph Impichike. Between 2018 and 2019, I was an emergency department patient at Ascension St. Vincent's East Hospital in Birmingham, Alabama. I believe I had broken my neck. I had an x-ray, two CT scans, and later an MRI looked at by Ascension St. Vincent's uh, doctors. Each time they had told me I had no injuries in this area, I knew their diagnosis was an error as my condition worsened. The area became infected and infested with parasites. By summer 2019, I almost died. I obtained my medical records from your hospital along with the x-ray, CT, MRI imagery and discovered the truth of my injury. I had broken bone in the underside of my skull in the area of the condylar canal and occipital condyle. How the doctors could have missed such a large and serious injury over multiple hospital visits is inexcusable. I believe some element of organized corruption may exist in this hospital. I have compiled over 10 hours of video documentation on what happened to me on my YouTube channel. And the name of the channel is My Medical Nightmare. I believe I may have been a victim of patient dumping uh, in the course of my seeking treatment, which is a violation of EMTALA, E-M-T-A-L-A. When I told medical staff associated with Ascension about my discovery that I had been misdiagnosed repeatedly, I was personally attacked and my psychological state was challenged. And this is reflected in medical records I obtained later. I could not obtain proper treatment or diagnosis for this injury uh, because doctors and nurses uh, that I would subsequently uh, have encounters with would only entertain what the erroneous Ascension uh, ER findings were. My mother, who was a nurse for 20 years, had the misfortune of working in an Ascension hospital when I questioned my MRI findings involving St. Vincent's Ambulatory Healthcare Network LLC and Dr. Michael Brant Ruff, MD, a uh, radiologist, in March 2019. My mother, who was a nurse for 20 years and worked in the Ascension Hospital, she was terminated from her job there around the same time. I filed 11 complaints against these doctors from these visits with the state of Alabama Board of Medical Examiners and Leicester Commission in 2020. In 2021, this governmental uh, sanctioned body, they sent me a letter stating they had dismissed all of the complaints. I believe that this is unfair. The complaints had merits and they should have looked at these uh, issues separately Although many of them are connected, and, uh, and this uh, uh, opens up a more uh, disturbing uh, possibility, I believe I was denied due process uh, by the state of Alabama 
my issues uh, regarding these various groups, these are still unresolved as of March 2023, and I've not given up uh, pursuing this thing. The various misdiagnoses in my case, this is worth uh, several million dollars. And uh, go through my videos, look at my records, look at the various exchanges, and you'll see what I'm talking about. This is a, a huge case, and it's just getting bigger. And I'm not giving up on this thing.